third peat moss, one third perlite, and one third potting soil. And sometimes I'll add a little bit of sand to it. But what I'm trying to talk to you today about is stem cuttings, root cuttings that are considering, I'm trying to consider the root growth of these plants. These plants do not have roots because they have been stem cut from a mother plant. And what happens is that you want them to root themselves. So you could use rooting hormone to start this, but actually the perlite in itself is going to be, I would think would encourage the growth more than uh, just the plain soil mix that has always been common. Now not too many people uh, want to look at it from a chemistry, chemistry perspective. Let me just say why. Some people think that organic compounds um, contain carbon. Well, I'm sorry, they don't. Perlite does not contain carbon. It's an inorganic, inorganic mineral, okay? So that's basically what I wanted to point out to you. So why do people not use it as much in their garden when also it's excellent for uh, the alteration of roots, it's stable, it helps improve drainage. Sometimes what happens is that it does not retain the water. Why is that? Because it contains no nutrients and it tends to float in excess water. Well, it also gives off dust. But you know what? The dust part of it is not dangerous at all as well. So if you contain it, if you basically take uh, a scoop full out of the bag and you put it inside of a plastic bag like I have here and you moisten it down you are containing the dust that you think that you're going to get up your nose or in your face inside of the plastic bag this has got moisture in it and I just put it inside of the plastic bag and I shook it and made sure that the content of it is pretty much absorbed okay and so that's basically what I've done. And, and all you got to do is open up the plastic bag like this. Take a spray bottle like I have. Put your sprayer in there and just spray the water into it. Or you can add water. Just add, just add water to it. Close up the bag, making the moisture go into it. Absorbing it. So as you can see from this bag, there's no dust particles nothing nothing okay so then you take yourself some containers now i wanted to show you what basically i have here i have a two inch container i have a one and a half inch container or i have a four inch container i also have a larger pot and i can go as big as the sky but i don't want to do that what i've actually done is i've gotten this frame that you start your plugs from and I basically have taken one side of this tray and I'm doing a study on how well the perlite by itself is going to grow the stem roots of my succulent cuttings. And I also have done the other side with the alternation of potting soil and perlite mixed together. And that's what's on this side. Now there's 16 here and there's 16 here. And all this one, don't worry about that. Okay, so here's what happens. You take yourself your squirt bottle after you've placed your perlite into the container. Now you can wear gloves if you want, or just touch it with your hand. It's not going to kill you. Just don't touch your eyes and your hair and your face. And the objective here is to keep it moist. So you take yourself a pin or a pencil, the end of it, and once you put that inside, you make a hole. And then you get yourself some cuttings. Now I have a nursery and I have a lot of succulents. And I get, my, my, my Facebook group is called Succulent Babies. I also have a Succulent Society group. That is uh, here in El Segundo, California. We meet once a month at the uh, Dry Jungle in El Segundo. And I do just st uh, stem cut babies. And that's why my group is called Succulent Babies. So this one has got a little bit of, of some uh, root development going. So yeah. We'll place this one inside. And we're going to encourage it to grow. Now I've poured some into here. And I would suggest you doing this outside where I am, where it doesn't matter if it falls on the ground, 
And now you have to go pick it up because you weren't watching what you were doing. Good Lord. It's one of those days. Sorry. Of course, the plant's okay. There we go. So we're going to come back and look and check, make sure that the stem root of this one is doing well. It's a little bit top heavy because it's a longer piece. So I have many kinds. I have sedums, this is also sedum, I have acavarias, aeoniums. Wow, this is beautiful. You can see she's got a little tiny root right there. Okay, she's lost the leaf. What did I do? I just sit out here and I just plant them up as much as I can. There we go. And then we're going to do some on the soil side. Where it's potting soil, which is organic potting soil, and perlite. I have a whole tray to go. Okay, guys, I hope this worked well for you. So perlite, making sure you keep it moist, keep it watered, and in indirect sun, not full sun. Have a great day. Please subscribe to my channel, thumbs up, and join my Succulent Babies on Facebook and my Instagram. Thank you.